folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm actually in the city of Stirling. I was actually hoping to be able to get up to the castle but I've just realised that yeah actually at the moment because of everything that's going on you need to pre-book so my might have to kind of come back at a later date and do the castle on already but try and see if I can turn around so that's the main bit of the castle behind me. But what I've actually also booked in for a tour of the Stirling Distillery, which is just slightly further down the hill. And I'll be going to that about three o'clock. So what I'm going to do just now is I'm going to go for a wee wander around the city itself. Uh, well, the city centre anyway, and let you see what's going on. And yeah, so hopefully I can't drive by. Uh, hopefully I will be able to get back to Stirling at a later date into the castle. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to show you the city itself. Hopefully you'll enjoy what you see. And if you are enjoying my channel, if you are enjoying my videos, you can click on that subscriber button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments. It's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the, the channelscoffee.com page in the description bar below and a pinned comment in the comment section. So I'm just going to go for a wee wander, get some lunch and show you what, what Stirling is like. Yeah, before I get to the actual castle, i uh, come up this wee grassy bit up next to the castle. Really good view. So that tower that's standing on the wee kind of the crag, that's the National Wallace Monument. And it's the Abbey Creek that it stands on. So that's the Ockle Hills behind it. I think it's the Mai, it's the one that's directly behind it. That's the, that's the hill where it's right behind it. So, the Battle of Stirling Bridge took place essentially between where I'm standing and the Abbey Craig. I think you can make, possibly make out that there's a, a football fields. Uh, between me and Abbey Craig. I think they say that's kind of roughly where the battlefield is. But it's kind of really, you do get really good views from up here. So the castle is just up that way. And this here is the portcullis. It's a really nice kind of restaurant and I do accommodation as well. So I'm going to try and see if I can get into uh, Port Carlos and try and get something to eat and then I'll go ahead down that way and show you some more of the, the old town. So the distillery I'm going, going, going to is down that direction but I think that that's uh, the, the the Holyrood church down there so I'll go for a wander around there as well. In this building here is our Giles lodging. I'm trying to see if we can get a wee bit closer look into the courtyard in a minute. And this was essentially the, the kind of mansion house for the Earl of a Gyle. And it's not open just now. But when it is open again, probably I'll try and come and have a wee visit. I'll just slide the camera in. It's just the inside of the courtyard. After that, even though I've been in Stirling so many times, that's one place I've never been to. But next time when it's open, I'll definitely come and have a wee visit. Yeah, so that's the Church of the Holy Roods. And Roods just means cross. Essentially, it just means the Church of the Holy Cross. So I'm going to see if I can have a wee wander around the grounds. And a bit like in Vareri, Stirling has its old town jail, which I think is just down there. Again, probably for a day when I can come back. Maybe when I've got some days off from the day job. So, I'm going to head on in. 
we have a wee wander. Uh, so, as you can see, this is the old town of Stirling. And there is obviously a lot more to Stirling now. But this is the really old bit. That's the castle up there. I think over there that's called is the Drummond's Pleasure Gardens or something, or it's a wee garden. That's the Ockles just behind the tree. Yeah, unfortunately, the Kirk was shut today. That there's the toll booth. And that's what they used for pr prisoners and criminals before the old town jail was built, which is just up there beyond those gates. So that there, there you can a pillar with the animal on top, which is a unicorn. That's the Mercat Cross. Yeah, trying to get, see if I can get a bit of view. So that's the unicorn of the puggy, as the locals call it. And it's a really pretty little cafe, a coffee house. The reason why it's called Darnley, because Darnley was the name of one of uh, Mary Queen of Scots' second husbands. It's Henry Stuart Lord Darnley. And that's because many Queen of Scots lived in Stirling for a wee while. And uh, James, her son, was actually baptised up at the Holyrood Kirk itself. And so the, house, the building which the coffee house is in used to be our Darnley's house. Well, that's me finished my little wander around the old town of Stirling. And as I was saying earlier on, Stirling is one of my one of the places that I will always remember coming to as a kid. And to spend time at the castle, to spend time at the old town, and. It's just one of those good places that I will always enjoy coming back to. And as I, as somewhere that I always think is just a really gorgeous little place. So uh, I'm just going to be heading back up to the car in a minute. Uh, recharge my phone. Because uh, I will be going to the Stirling Distillery. Which is a gin distillery near the castle. I'll be shooting a video there for you. And... Yeah, so again, Stirling is always somewhere that I will always come back to. And I definitely will have to kind of come back to in order to do a video at the castle for you. Uh, so hopefully you will have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.